The medical science has have been uh, bombarded with a wave of new technology and paradigm shift coming from almost all directions. I believe that uh, based on my on my studies and so on, it's not the first I had experience, but it's experience based on papers and the, my interest into medicine, applied medicine. You may, you may have like um, I I don't know how I mean I, I could make a whole course showing all the kind of technique the medicine now they has. For example, if you go to nuclear physics, you have all the the technology. Most of them come from say the Second War, uh, going to physics, to 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 medicine and to biology. So you. you um, uh, you may say that uh, medicine has absorbed a considerable amount of technology, such as the X-ray and uh, the, the technology based on, on atom or nanotechnology. Uh, so, uh, so it's amazing how, how those technologies were adapt. With computer science, things were not different. You may say that nowadays, at least it's my professional and personal experience, medicine does not exist anymore without all, all these this, uh, apparatus, all these uh, computers, uh, such as I, I believe that if you are a doctor, you may have knowledge of uh, the series called the Grey's Anatomy. And there you, you, you are able to see, for example, when they have the new machine of uh, to make the image, the image of the whole, uh, whole body scan, uh, scan. And it was amazing because you could see all the 3D technology give you, giving you all the uh, 3D information. So in the past you just had X-ray, now there you can have like image that's almost real. In computer, uh, in mathematical modeling, in, uh, in mathematical modeling, in biomathematics and computer, computational biology, have all this miracle as well, this promise, such as now they have the concept of a virtual human, a virtual pancreas, virtual liver, all this idea that they have in common, the, the hope that one day we may have models that can describe human in a mathematical precision. Uh, I, I'm not sure that you are going to have a mathematical precision that you, that you have with, uh, that you have with uh, let's say, if an, an animate matter such as when you try to describe, describe the trajectory of a stone, I don't think that, at least in my opinion, professional experience, we may have that to biology, because biology is everything is different, everything is heterogeneous, the cells has different behaviors. But you may arrive to a level, maybe in the future, that you can have a pretty good description of, the, of the, how the human work. So now there you have some kind of, uh, as always, when you have something new, some new era, you have some new names come up. One name that, that he arrived, to my, arrived to my attention recently when I was preparing, when I was doing my postdoc, uh, was the concept of evidence-based medicine. I have to say that I didn't, uh, I'm not expert in evidence-based medicine. I have, uh, I, 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 I grabbed everything I could grab, some papers, books and so on, but I didn't go deep inside the concept. But the, the little information I was able to, to, to get, uh, the little information I was able to gather, I, I found that the evidence made scene is more or less the same as you are trying to do in biomathematics. So the kind of work that I present here, which is a target therapy, is more or less evidence-based medicine. I believe that it's just a different name. Some years ago, on my PhD, I was trying to organize uh, all the names that the biomathematics has. Because when you have the word biomathematics, you can find several names. But when you go there to see what they do, they're essentially biomathematics. So I want to gather all the names. I was surprised because you have different areas. All of them do the same thing, giving different names. But if you go deeper in the concept, they were biomathematics, just, just applied to different field. I believe that the evidence-based medicine it's more or less the same as we are trying to do in biomathematics. The only difference is evidence, evidence, evidence based medicine was created by medical doctors. You can find that uh, on books and the papers. The, uh, the, let's say the, the starting point, the wave came from the medical doctor literature. Uh, the other difference as well that was, I was able to identify is that they are, they are concerned about uh, to create a culture in medicine that doctors should take decisions based on papers, on, uh, on evidence. 
Uh, that's precisely what you do in biomathematics uh, in computational biology. That maybe the difference is that in our case we are concerned about uh, creating models, creating like computer models or mathematical models. For example, in my case, in my PhD, I go, I went deep into a considerable amount of paper published by medical doctors about ghrelin, what the hormone that I modeled. So I want to, 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 to grab my hand on every single law I could find, such as I noticed ghrelin ghrelin, the hormone, the hunger hormone, it falls down one hour, two hours after someone eat. Uh, so it has a kind of, ra uh, it, 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 it kind of raise uh, some, some hours before you eat. So you those are the kind of, 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 of the evidence that you have on papers. I was somehow all, all surprised because I thought the medical doctor they based that decision based on evidence, but I was surprised because of this movement called evidence-based medicine that it seemed that not the case. And I believe that mathematical model can be a, a, a very strong tool on the, on the concept of evidence-based evidence medicine. The kind of system I'm proposing here, which is not on my system, I'm going to leave the paper so you can follow the paper. So I was surprised as well that recently I was following a, a presentation about biofluid from a professor from Portugal on a Brazi on Brazil, it was not a Brazilian event, but the event was international, but was organized by Brazilian university. And this person used the concept of simulation-based medicine, which is, in my opinion, more or less the same as evidence-based medicine. So that just used a different name. So in the case of, of evidence-based medicine, you have clinical judgment, you have a relevant scientific evidence, have a patient value and preference. Whereas in the case of uh, simulation-based medicine, you have more or less computer, mathematics, and medicine. But for me, they will be more or the same. For example, because if, 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 you, if you go to the concept of, uh, of P4 medicine, which is a kind of, uh, which has area of uh, precision medicine, precision medicine, uh, you have the concept of uh, one of these P is uh, participatory, which is patient preference. So as you can see, you have more or less the two waves, one comes from system biology, from computational biology, it's doing more or less the same. For example, when you, go, when you have the concept of target therapy, you are taking into account the, the patient, not value, but the patient uh, body preference, such as you know that your gene has one type of response, so you take that into account, you use uh, the concept of target therapy. Recently I created a patron. Uh, a patron is a way that people find to gain online support for what they are doing. So if you like this initiative of mine, if you like the job, you can make any donation you want. 